Hello. Hello and welcome to Half-Life Opposing Force. Today I'm going to be playing through the chapter Missing in Action. In the previous episode I played through the chapter We Are Pulling Out and, well, in that chapter Adrian Shepard got left behind. So now he has to find a way to escape Black Mesa when so now he has to find another way to find to escape Black Mesa. Right, let's begin. There's also a new alien species, by the way. So hopefully I see more of that. So hopefully I see more of that. Oh, Zen. Oh, oh, Zen flora. Oh, well, Zen, Zen plants, I guess. Okay, okay. Meet the new enemy. Meet the Gnome. The Gnome is a new enemy in Half-Life's opposing force, and is the head and is the head crabs and is the head crab zombies next day to mutation. Yeah, meet the Gnome. Yeah, so the Gnome is the Head crab zombies next day. Basically, the head crab zombies next day, and base and uh, and and it's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool. Like I mean, he's a big. He has a ranged attack, and well, he's fast. That's the go- That's the go gnome there. Yeah, so the go gnome has a ranged attack and is pretty fast, to be honest. And well, it's a much needed- And well, it's a much needed enemy to the headcrab species because the zombies are extreme pussovers plus the- <coughs> Plus the hated by- Basically, the Zen aliens and, well, the humans alike. And, well, the head. And, yeah, the head crab species is. And, yeah, the head crab species is hated for. And, yeah, the head crab species is hated. by both the Zen aliens and the humans. So that was, uh, so the Go Gnome is a much needed troop, uh, well, a much needed enemy. Oh, 
Oh, two of them. No. Oh, uh, at least I have a few. Oh wait, that song was actually that song was actually quite fitting. Plus, it's just a pretty cool song. Now I've got a feeling that I have. Now I've got a feeling that I have to put these explosions over here. That creature isn't blocking me. But guess I died. But that was the way to go. Next, next time I should stand far back.
You got to get out of here. Listen to me, Shepard. Those things, they'll kill all of us. to get out of here. Listen to me, Shepard. Those things, they'll kill all of us. Ah.
You got to get out of here. Listen to me, Shepard. Those things, they'll kill all of us. I don't know what's worse. You soldiers under orders to silence the facility or these vile aliens.
I don't know what's worse. You soldiers under orders to silence the facility of these vile aliens. I don't know what's worse. You soldiers under orders to silence the facility or these vile... <laughs>
I'm look I'm looking up a wall too. I have no clue on what I'm doing. Like I tried everything I knew, but it's just not doing anything. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. I'm an idiot. I'm I'm an absolute idiot. What I'm supposed to do it. What I'm supposed to do is grab this box. Open this door. Well, grenade in there. that long took me that long that was that is seriously insulting that puzzle took me that long only for it to be like um, something like this Now I know what to do. I basically have to bring this box with me and basically find a way to bring it along with me. Definitely gonna put some of the car out because, well, it's basically not needed. Because it basically it's not needed. And just me looking about for some. Thank you. 
That's the time I wasn't so fortunate to keep all of my ammo intact, to keep all of my health intact, but it was just a 10% armor loss, now really, and a little bit of health, but I cured of that with the med kit placed there. When all the fighting started, I hid myself here. I don't think any of them above have survived. Recon team, check it. By the way, I have a waffle launcher. I didn't forget that. So I guess that scientists can hide over here. Another man in uniform. Looks like somebody really screwed up, Corporal. Seems the brass bit off more than they could chew. Yeah, well, forget about Freeman. We've got to save our own asses. You with us, Corporal? Okay. Right away, in. sir. I will not fail you, sir. Clear this area. Government cover-ups were not in my job description. Oh, what the hell are you doing? This place makes boot camp seem like Disneyland. Have you seen any other soldiers from my platoon? I was told this is gonna be a babysitting job. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. Drill Instructor Barnes can see me now. This mission is way beyond Fubar. The current situation is looking pretty grim. Recon! Yes, 
sir! Squad, quiet down! Let's get the hell out of here! Our duty, huh? I bet you could get lost in this place really easy. I got a feeling about this mission. Just when I was getting short, I've got a port. I said, sign. Anyways. Oh. And I guess that's the end of half. Oh, and I guess that's the end of that chapter. So I hope you like this episode. Next episode. Now I. Now I hope you like this episode, and I will see you in the next episode of Half-Life: Opposing Force, where, where I will now work with my buddies to escape Black Mesa. Yeah, it's nice to see some soldiers. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see some more soldiers. Because, yeah, it's nice to see some more soldiers. Well, I already saw them in Chapter 3, but still. Anyways, see you in the next episode.